Howdy folks, welcome to Performance PCs TV. I'm Matt and today I want to teach you guys everything you need to know about fittings and tubing. Maybe this is your first foray into custom liquid cooling or you're looking up to switch up your tubing. Either way, stay tuned and find out all you need to know. First things first, you're going to have to ask yourself which kind of tubing do you want to use, hard or soft tubing. This will ultimately determine what kind of fitting you're going to need. Now for soft tubing, you've got a couple types to choose from. You've got your classic compression fitting, which features both a barb and a collar that will be threaded onto the fitting in order to seat the tubing and secure it. Or you can just get a plain barb fitting, which I commonly don't recommend unless you're really looking to get by on a budget. Even so, I found some compression fittings such as these barrel or bike ski ones, I can't remember which. Uh, they're close to three or four dollars a piece, it's really hard to beat that. Either way, this soft tubing fitting or a barb will not work with hard tubing. So, if you're looking at hard tubing, you're going to have to check out some compression fittings. Now, compression fitting works a little bit different than the soft tubing style. It doesn't have a barb on the inside, and you actually seat the tubing fully into the fitting and then you tighten down a collar included with an O-ring around the tubing. Now both types of tubing heavily rely on their dimensions, and by that I mean you have to get a fitting that matches up precisely to your size of tubing, or vice versa, whichever way you want to go. Now when it comes to soft tubing, you can usually get away with fudging the numbers a little bit by going from metric to imperial or the other way around. However, if you're going to go with hard tubing, you need to make sure that you match up your fittings perfectly to your tubing. When it says that your fitting is for 16 millimeter OD tubing, you need to get 16 millimeter OD tubing. Five, five eighths of an inch is not the same and it will not work with your fitting. Same goes for 12 millimeters because a half inch ends up being 12.7, so you wouldn't even get half inch tubing inside a 12 millimeter OD fitting. So with soft tubing, you do have to be mindful of both the ID and the OD However, with hard tubing, the ID actually doesn't matter according to the fitting. So, if you have some 10 by 16 or 12 by 16 tubing, they'll both work in your 16 millimeter OD fitting. However, the same cannot be said for soft tubing. Beyond your compression fittings, you're probably wondering how you can get your tubing around some bends or some tight radiuses and whatnot. That's where adapters and extensions come in. Now you can get some fittings that have both a compression fitting and an angle adapter combined with it. However, these can be a little bit more expensive and they don't always work in every situation. The most common solution you'll find is G and a quarter adapters. Here we have a dual rotary 90 and here's a single rotary 90. Both of these have a G and a quarter male end and one female G and a quarter end. This is perfect for your compression fittings as well as your blocks and whatever else because you can put your fitting right on the adapter and then you can screw it into your component. These can help you achieve a tighter bending radius than you would normally get with both soft or hard tubing, so they definitely come in handy and I always recommend you pick up a few for your first loop. Now sometimes you need to just extend over a gap just a little ways or clear something just by a little bit. That's where your straight extension comes in. Much like the angle adapter, there's one G and a quarter end that is male and one that is female. So, you can screw your fitting in, and voila, now you've extended it. I would also recommend getting a few of these of various sizes for your loop. At the end of the day, there's a whole ton of options out there as far as tubing types and fitting types, colors, and materials, all that. So, if you have some more questions, feel free to contact us or leave a comment below, and I'll try to answer that as soon as I can for you. Of course, you can find all of these fittings and tubing pretty much all you'd ever need to find at performancepcs.com. I'll have that link below as well. Now this video is a little bit short and sweet, but if you found it entertaining, hit that like button. If you want to see some more, subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, I hope you all have a great day and happy water cooling.